we've been looking at Van Gogh's letters and although when he was in London he wasn't kind of painting and drawing as much as he did later on, he hadn't really started being an artist yet, he did these beautiful drawings that um, we have preserved on his letters which were kept and they're really lovely to look at. Um, you can see here is a picture of an illustration he's made, a drawing he's made of Austin Friars in London when he when he's visited it or walked past it and he's just made it very quickly with the ink pen he was writing the letter with so it's in this lovely brown ink. And there's another one here, just have a little look at this letter. This letter's about a walk he went on and, and he's just He's just illustrated the things he's seen at the bottom of the letter with these lovely drawings. Here's one of Petersham and Turnham Green, so these little chapels that he went past and he's he's then kind of uh, coloured them in with a watercolour wash. So he illustrates his letters with these beautiful drawings and he writes with beautiful script with, a, with an ink pen just like most people would have done who wrote in those days. So we're going to have a go at that. So you can buy an ink pen really easily from an art shop or online and here's, here's one that's quite old, it's a, it's a, we're, we're using a, 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 dip, a dip ink pen so it's not a cartridge pen or a, or, or a fountain pen, it's a pen that you dip in the ink and this would have been a really common thing. So we've got one of these and it's got no nib, you can see that's missing so I'm going to put a nib on now because you may find you have to do this. So I've got this old box of nibs and actually some of these might even be 19th century nibs, I don't know. I'm going to pull one out and I'm going to show you how to put it onto the holder. So there's some grooves along the outside here, you just need to firmly stick it in there. So there it is, your nib, and you're ready to go then. Okay, so I need to think about my ink next. Now you can use all different kinds of ink. Um, here is just some writing ink. I've got lots of lovely coloured inks. I, I, I um, paint with these and they're wonderful. And today I'm going to use this brown ink. So it's kind of a little bit like the ink that you see in Van Gogh's letters. It's not black. It's a, it's a kind of sepia colour. And uh, this was a really common colour for people to use. So I'm going to use that ink. So, okay, so the first thing I want to say is about not putting too much ink on your pen. So I'm going to dip my pen in the ink. I'm not going to dip it up to there because if I do that I'm going to take it out and I'm going to get big ink blots all over my paper. I'm just going to try and just dip the nib into the ink so I'm going to be quite careful, dip it in and take it out. I might give it a bit of a shake or knock there. <clears throat> so can you see where the ink is on the nib and if I turn it over you'll see that there's a little pool or reservoir of ink there's not much but there on the side on the other side of the nib so on the concave side of the nib there's a reservoir of ink that I'm, that's going to keep me going when I'm drawing so now I'm going to think about how I hold the pen this is really important you need to hold your pen this way up so the curved side of the nib the side that goes like that is 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 up you can see that and there's that often there's writing on the nib so you can see the writing and you know you're the right way up. If you hold it this way up and you try and draw with it, it's really hard to because the ink can't get down as well to the paper. So this way up, the ink can go down to the paper. So that's a really important thing to remember, to hold it this way up at all times. Okay, so I'm gonna just, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna just do some little marks and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just draw very roughly, as you can see, some little boxes which we're going to fill with marks. And you can do loads more of these. And I just need to say actually something about right-handedness and left-handedness. Now I'm right-handed as you can see. This is can be a hard exercise using these pens if you're left-handed. So um, if you're writing in English or in a European language, we write left to right don't we so we start here and we go like this and if you're right-handed that's great because your hands move in and you're not smudging anything if you're left-handed though I'm probably going to smudge these boxes now and this is really hard for me because I'm not 
um, and you start writing like that and you're going to then you're writing away and then your hands going over that writing you can see you smudge it okay so that makes it quite difficult to 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 do if you're left-handed and I'm sorry about that drawing however drawing out however might be easier okay so we're going to just start by making some marks and I, I really suggest that you practice this so I'm going to start by just doing a straight hatch so a hatch is just a line next to another line like this. Now, you can hear that, I'm sure, quite loud. But I'm actually really not pressing down. This is very, very light. If I start to press on this, really, you get well, I get a lot thicker line, which is great. But actually, it becomes quite hard to make a line. It very quickly runs out of ink. Actually, the best way to use it, this is a very fine nib as well, is just to just really use the most gentle pressure. So you will have to, the first thing you're going to have to do is work out what the right pressure is. So you can go quite fast and very lightly. So this cross hatch you'll see a lot on the Van Gogh, on Van Gogh's drawings and on drawings of other people who are doing pen and ink drawings like Dore. And this is a way that you could get shading in if you're using pen and ink. You can't smudge it like a pencil. And then you can do some more hatching, cross hatching across the other way. And you kind of get, you can kind of build up a darker and darker picture like I'm doing at that corner. So that's one thing to know. I'm going to just practice this. It's just like, you know, you can just use these boxes just to try out some different line so you can kind of really get a really nice wavy line going there like that you can see this one I'm just going to do a squiggle so I'm just going to do this so this squiggly line now if you were a Victorian child of course you would have spent many years learning how to use this kind of a pen and you would be learning how to control this pen so Doing this in this boxes, you can see I'm not doing such a great job, but and trying to keep inside the lines is actually really good practice in terms of teaching you how to try and control what you're doing a bit. So I'm going to try and go really small. Okay. So if I, another thing you might see is like a lot of dots and small marks and Another person who's really good to look at actually is, is um, Leonardo da Vinci. Obviously he was working a lot earlier than Van Gogh, but he does a lot of pen and ink drawings and you'll see, you know, often there are these tiny, tiny little marks that he's making. And so this is kind of like, I'm gonna do dots and little marks on this one. See how small I can go. And so what you're doing when you're doing this practicing is you're kind of developing your language for when you're drawing and then you can, when you make your drawing, you can use all these different marks to kind of describe what you're seeing. Okay, so you can maybe do 10 boxes with 10 different kinds of marks, okay? And just see how you go. But it will help you to practice because you'll just get your get your skills, your pen skills together. So I think I'm ready to write. I'm just gonna quickly write something before we finish. And I'm gonna write the title and maybe the first line of one of Van Gogh's favorite poems. And it was called Autumn. And it was by, I'm having to dip again, John Keats. Now, imagine writing a whole letter. I mean, this is why Fountain pens and cartridge pens were invented. And the first line is season of mists and Van Gogh probably would have known this off by heart. Mellow fruit. Gosh. <laughs> or neck. And I'll tell you what, he wrote it a lot nicer than I've just done. Okay, so enjoy experimenting with your ink pen. And send us in photographs of the results, please. <laughs> 